This video shows a new method to make large solar cookers uh, cheaply and uh, if uh, enough people know about it it can probably save some lives in refugee camps and make lives a whole lot better in many poor countries around the world. Please take a good close look ahead and um, let it uh, be known to other people. Thank you. The device uh, shown uh, is for drawing a parabolic dome. Um, there's a central post and bar and on that uh, central post there's a saddle which slides in and out and um, there is a string attached to the saddle and uh, the string goes up through um, a little eye hole in the top of the slider bar and is attached um, to the central post at the other end. Um, the spring keeps um, the slider bar taut um, no matter what position it's in it's uh, held taut by the spring and the tip of the slider bar as it goes closer to the central bar describes a parabolic curve and this is very important the central bar turns um, ro can rotate and this means the parabolic curve um, uh, can be formed into a dome this is extremely important too the next little video shows me using a very similar device to make a parabolic dish so please look and um, imagine a, um, the device instead of making a dish making a dome and you can probably see the potential thank you so here we have um, the little tracker you go round in a circle and it's just touching just a little bit more than touching here and you go in a little and this drops down it's a little a little bit of in it so it doesn't drop down so good but there we go so I've got to take a little off here and I do that with the trowel just push it down push it around a bit it seems to work quite well this trowel has a round edge so it can basically do uh, quite a lot of curves you know you hold it like this you've got a different curve then and so all I'm doing is I'm moving material around see here I have to add more but um, I'm just hydrating more clay at the moment so and over here had to add a little more too so it'll be another one to two wheelbarrows before uh, before it's done next little video presumes that you have made your dome and shows you how to um, cut your foil back cardboard on top of the dome. So this is a um, piece of letter size uh, paper. And this is a globe. I couldn't find um, uh, any parabolic dome so I'm going to use a globe instead. So we're going to save the world with um, this. So it's a letter size piece of paper. There's a couple of two concentric circles marked in it and um, radial um, cuts marked. I haven't made the cuts yet. So here we have the cuts have been made uh, on the red marks and I shall now uh, there's my globe. I'm just going to cover the world with the, um, the piece. Here you can see uh, the globe being saved by this um, idea. Anyway, um, the cuts have been made and in the real world uh, you would, along the cut, you would have uh, an outside piece and an inside piece and you would just cut again along here. And this would take away a little section of the paper or the silver backed paper or the aluminum backed paper 
and the same on this line here the paper overlaps a little and you would simply cut along here and the piece under that was the underlap piece would be cut out right to the end and then so you would have probably three rings or two or three rings around it just to hold it down into place and you do your cuts and do your cut along here too you just cut along the line and you're cutting off a tiny piece which is um, um, people do this uh, do a mathematical figuring out to do um, parabolas but if you just do the dome there's no mathematics involved you just cut along the lines that you made you don't even have to with these cuts um, you can just as easily probably do it by eye as um, you know depending on how bendable your material is and here's one that's up so you just place it down and do your cut along the line and then the entire thing gets taped together in the well this is um, um, a, um, you know a semicircle but with the or um, a half dome but in the parabolic dome it would be the same idea and um, it's um, pretty simple but um, uh, you would have your solar cooker when you turn it upside down with uh, the perfect para uh, parabolic shape already made just by having a parabolic dome in your town or village wherever it may be thank you so I'm not asking uh, for money from anybody I'm asking people to uh, spend a little of their time to um, prove this concept and drive the idea forward and into use and um, basically to help people thank you